uh, do an impeller change on the new Malibu M5 and M6 motors. Um, it's a pretty simple uh, remove and replace, and so I'll show you how to do it. We'll start by pulling off the, the tray here, and we'll just set this up out of the way. If you're going to need to pull the dipstick out in order to get the cowling off a little easier, so you can lift the tray up and out of the way. So this is the impeller housing. It's a belt driven pump. The only thing that we have to do to get the impeller out is take off these four 5 16 or eight millimeter nut bolts that uh, come through the front side. So you're just gonna go in and get that hose out of the way and spin these off. So now that all these bolts are removed, this cap will pop right off, and that's the base to the impeller. There's an O-ring in here that will also need to be put back in. The impeller sits right inside there. You can use a pair of needle nose pliers that are bent to just kind of hold on to one of the veins, and you can just pry it right out. Once it's out most of the way, you can just grab your hand in there and just kind of pull it. And this is what a good impeller looks like. It has all these veins. This is what a bad impeller looks like. No more veins left on it. You're gonna grab a new one. You're gonna wanna look inside or feel inside to where the keyway is. The keyway is the little piece that's gonna line up on the shaft with that cutout. If you miss the keyway or you push the impeller and it pushes the keyway out of place, then the impeller is going to sit and the shaft is going to spin. So it's really important to make sure that you line up the slot in the impeller and the keyway on the pump. This one's sitting off to the side. And so you'll just kind of push it in place and as you turn, Just push it in. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your O-ring and your cap are installed properly. The O-ring sits inside of a small little ridge inside the pump. What I use is a little bit of grease to hold that in place. If you don't have grease, suntan lotion works or just any kind of kind of sticky material that would hold it in place. Your cap is only gonna go on one way. There's gonna be some wear marks in it. This is gonna be on the hose side. So you wanna make sure that when you're putting it back together, everything lines up because the holes won't line up with the housing if it's not on properly. So what I'll do is I'll put my first top screw through, holding that O-ring in place. And then before you get that tight, you're gonna go around and put in all the other bolts through the system before you tighten it all the way down. The last one's always the hardest, just because there's not a ton of room for your hands. Once all your bolts are back in place, you can just come back and tighten everything up. You don't wanna go super tight because you can break them off pretty easily. But once you get it all back on, you'll fire up the motor. And one of the things you can do is go to the C strainer, which is the plastic container in the back. Once you restart it, you can watch the C strainer to see if water starts flowing through it. So once you get everything back on and all the bolts are tight, um, you can start the motor up and carefully put your hand on the cover plate while the motor is running and make sure that that cover plate is getting cool. If it's getting cool, then you know you're pumping water and you should be good to go. If it's not, you're gonna to wanna to take that off and make sure that the keyway didn't get pushed off and that everything is put back together properly. That's it.